Hello everyone, welcome to the first scripting tutorial I'll be making on this channel. Um, there will be many more to come, but today I'm just going to keep it simple. Today we're going to go over proximity prompts. So basically what a proximity prompt is, is let's say we had a part here and we just made it uh, two by two and we go ahead and insert a proximity prompt and we click play. If we go up to it, you could see that there's now an interact button on it to interact with the, you know, object. So let's just go ahead and anchor that. So basically how proximity prompts work is, as you can see here, if we go down to properties, you could see that there is a keyboard key code, meaning which key you have to press to actually activate the proximity prompt. So you can go through every single uh, key here. There's a, they're all here. We'll keep it E for now. Hold duration. Basically, you could set this to one second. Let's say we set that to one, right? As you could saw, as you could see before, we only had to click down on it. Now, if we had, if we went up to it, we have to hold down to activate it. So that's what hold duration does. Basically, you change this to however many seconds you want. Um, object text is basically what the object that you're interacting with is. So we can just type in if we if we typed in parts and clicked play. And we went up to it as you can see now there's a little text called part above the interact and then obviously you can change the action text from interact to open close whatever, whatever you want really um max activation distance basically just you know determines how far you'll be able to activate it um clickable prompt basically means if you're able to click on it as well to activate it requires line of sight is if you need if you have it in your site you can only interact with it if you have it in your site if you don't have it in your site you can't interact with it um and that's basically all you need to know for the basics of proximity prompts so now let's get into actually coding the proximity prompt so we'll go ahead and insert a script and um we'll just delete that so what we'll do first is we'll define the prompt so we'll go local prompt equals script dot parent and um, actually, you know, let's do this. So local part equals script dot parent dot parent local prompt equals part home the child proximity prompt. So basically what we just did there, we defined the part by doing script dot parent dot parent. And then the prompt is, you know, wait for child proximity prompt, a proximity prompt, a child of the part. So we'll just make it, we'll make the part change the color. We'll make a part, we'll make the part change its color when we activate the prompt. So Let's go ahead and set this to a one hold duration and let's go ahead and code it a little bit. So we'll go prompt dot triggered and connect function and we'll close it like that. So we're going prompt, the proximity prompt. When we trigger it, we're going to connect it to this function and it's going to run whatever line of code is in here when it gets triggered. So all we'll do is we can go, um, hmm, we'll go we'll go part that brick color equals brick color dot new really red and we'll go ahead and hit play so as you can see the part is gray and when we hold down and interact with it uh, the part now changes to red um, we could do other stuff with this obviously let's say um, let me think what could we what could we make happen Let's say we wanted it to insert a UI into the player, right? So we'll just go ahead and make a quick little UI. And we'll just go ahead and make this centered. Like that. And we'll make it a little bit transparent. And let's say this was like a shop UI, right? That you wanted to insert into the player. Uh, players player GUI when you click on the prompt and it brings up the shop so we'll take this we'll just name it shop UI and we'll just go ahead and throw it inside replicate storage so what we'll do here we'll define replicated storage right and then what we need to do now is define the player so basically how the prompts work is Let's say you had prompt that triggered con connect function, right? You would write player in here or whatever, but whatever you write in there will define the player that, you know, interacts with it. Let's say you had something like this. 
enable shop, let's say you had a function outside of the of the prompt that triggered command outside of it, and you had it be enabled shop, you have to define the player like this. And then what you could do, we'll just name this, we'll do uh, like that. And then what you do is you go to enabled shop player. So what you're doing is you're sending the actual player from the prompt into the function. That's basically what you're doing. So that's how that works. So we're defining the player right here, but we'll go ahead and get rid of this. So then what we're going to do is we'll go, hmm, we'll go local new UI equals replicated storage colon wait for child shop UI colon clone. We'll also check to make sure. So we'll go, we'll go the play up player UI home find first child shop UI then we don't we won't we won't run anything because I already have it in there and then we'll go like this so basically what this is saying is if they have it we won't run anything but if they don't meaning else they don't have anything we'll give them it so we'll do new UI dot parent equals player dot player GUI and now if we go ahead and play and run it we go up to the part and we interact with it as you can see we get the uh, UI and if we try to get more of them we can't because we already have one so that's basically how proximity prompts work very basic version of proximity prompts um, there's obviously more um, you know advanced stuff you could do with them you can you know there's actually a whole bunch of stuff you can do with them they basically you know you can make it so that they can open doors, you know, all this different stuff. But this is just how you basically make it. So the uh, very basic version of proximity prompts. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you want a more advanced version on proximity prompts, you know, let me know and I'll make it. If you want to see anything else in particular on what you want to see tutorials made on, let me know in the comments and I'll, you know, try to get on it whenever I can. But this is just basically a very simple tutorial on how proximity prompts work and basically how to use them.